What is going on everybody? It is your favorite pixelated purple person here. Although, uh, I'm probably not your favorite pixelated purple person yet because you have absolutely no idea who I am or what I'm doing. But, I'm here to change that. This is a little series I'm calling Build the Bank because right now, the bank is looking a little, a little slim, you know? So, the goal is to get some fat stacks so I can become that billionaire boy who can just sit at the GE and just flex on everybody else. By the time that this series is over, when you look me up on Runelight, you're gonna let out a little gasp when you see my stats, my boss kills, my clue scrolls. You're just gonna let out a little moan. So, here's how it's gonna go down, all right? During this episode, I'm gonna be opening up medium clues. I personally love doing clue scrolls. I think that they're super chill. They're a nice break from whatever activity you're doing. And you always have a chance at some of those really big baller items that you just can't get anywhere else. Mediums are kind of lame because there's only one item that's super good, one item that's super profitable, of course, being the green sneaks, the ranger boots, the OGs, those things have maintained their value. They're like 34 mil. So, you know, if we could land one of those, that would be phenomenal. But you also get master caskets. I don't have a bloodhound. I would love to get one. And you can get some of that sick third age druidic. So, always worth doing. I purchased 6,500 eclectic implants and I got about 250 medium clues in return. I actually got 254, but I opened up a couple uh, as I got them. So, uh, you guys don't want to see me running around the world, digging in random spots, teleporting to a bunch of different places, and pestering Uri for caskets. So I'm just gonna cut to the loot and then I'll be back in the end and I'm gonna break down all the numbers for all the people who wanna get really jealous of my monetary gains this episode. Alright, well I hope the clue loot montage was everything you could ever hope for. Um, but now let's crunch some numbers and we'll put a value to my sadness. So like I said earlier, I bought 6,500 eclectic implings at a cost of 2,724 GP each. This means that the total cost of all the implings was 17,706,000 GP. After selling back the actual impling jar loot, I got a return of 8,788,432 GP, so roughly half, uh, which means we are negative uh, 8,918,568 GP. And as you saw from the loot, we only made 6,894,702 GP back which means we lost 2,023,866 GP. Now, I was able to complete about 17 clues per hour. 
uh, on average. So using that, I dumped roughly 15 hours into obtaining the 254 medium clues. And because of our exceptional luck with Ranger Boots, we only lost 134k per hour, which is not horrible, I guess. Uh, the upside is we were very lucky on Master Clues, and we got 13 of them, and that will bump up our profit. So we will open those, and we will see where we're at. Uh, Master Clues are where the juicy items are anyway, so... You know, who knows? Maybe the Mimic might feel kind of bad and give us some big money items. I don't know. But I'm feeling pretty good after the, you know, not great medium clues. All right, Master Clue number one. Ooh, a Mimic. All right. All right, let's see what we get from the Mimic. Oh, 500 Blood Runes? Come on, dude. You can do better than that. You got third age in there. All right, back with 12 more caskets. Nothing. But nothing. Okay. Okay. Wow. Blood runes, I guess. Purple sweets, at least, are worth a good amount. But no uniques yet. Okay. And nothing good. Into nothing good. Into nothing good. Into some sick fire lighters. Into a bandos page. Oh man, two more. Let's see if we get anything good. Nope. Wow, what a letdown. All right. Well, fuck, I guess. 